Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So today we're going to be taking a look at how much food and gold it takes to level up a dragon to level 80. And the reason I'm thinking about this is because we've got little Sania Lantern Dragon here. And I am going to level him up to level 53 right now because we do have quite a bit of food at the moment. We can actually just do a full level up there. So now he's halfway through level 53. But obviously that takes about 2 point whatever million food and that's a lot at the end of the day and if we need to upgrade him above level 70 obviously we have all of our temples and that to upgrade as well and that takes a ton more food than you initially plan but in case you didn't know the dml wiki actually has an entire section on dragon leveling here and obviously the level cap has increased from when the game was originally out but Sany's at level 53 at the moment so it takes 2 million 560,000 food to actually level him up once. We can zoom in a little bit here. And accumulatively, that means that we fed him 30 million food, which is the number on the far right here. And so each quarter of a level up takes 640,000 food, which is quite a lot. But if we go all the way down, then at, to get a dragon to level 60, it costs 6 million per level. And then that's 104 cumulative food that you would have had to spend on. And then obviously 280, which is the max level at the moment, then it's 8 million per level up. And then that's 175 cumulative food overall. So from level 70 to level 80, it takes about 71 million food. So uh, obviously that takes a very long time. But apart from that, we have been continuing on with our great dragon race stuff as usual. And we can make a little donut here. So we might as well go ahead and do that. And I think we will just about have enough clan points to open one of these packs. So obviously the rest of Fari, we've got five out of seven pieces. So we're hoping that this pack here is going to be nice. And three rares? Oh, okay. So we got one more piece towards the rest of Fari. Not bad. So we've got another basically six days left and six out of seven pieces for the rest of fire dragon oh sweet we're actually gonna get this dragon like super duper quickly amazingly enough but um you know new dragon means happy me that's how it always is but we might as well do some more of these clan quests anyway just because you know we might as well collect the ingredients while we can because then later on or further down the week We'll be able to just make everything that we need without actually having to do any of these like extra quests or whatever. And obviously petting dragons is super duper simple. So it's not like it's too out of the way for me to do or like impossible. So, you know, it's just clickety clack, clickety clack, give me some chocolate stat sort of thing. So there we go. Let's claim that lovely stuff. And now we have some collecting gold to do. Very good. Claim that as well. And then explore ruins at this point. We can't do it at the moment. But we do have quite a lot of ingredients overall. That should be pretty good for us. But I believe that we're in like position 4 or something at the moment. In the event leaderboards. Yeah we're in position 4. Like we have half the score of position 3. So we are quite a bit behind. But you know if people start coming back doing some stuff. Then you know I think we'll actually be on track to get a good position. I started doing these enchantment fights and I was like, whoa, you actually have to hit the record button, me. Good job. So apparently I have failed miserably in that aspect of my my recording career. But all that we're doing here is just some more of those clan quests and just collecting some stuff for our enchantment guys because as you know, we just need a few more trinkets, a few more of the materials and we'll finally be able to upgrade our frosty i'm not sure should i just keep trying to breed the briar dragon or if we get the frosty upgraded should we go for the i think that's the crumbly legendary actually so should we switch it up and try and go for the crumbly instead or should we keep trying to breed the briar this is what i'm struggling with at the moment and you know what do you think do you think we should change it up just to sort of like Get away from the monotonous, horrible breeding that is going on for the Briar. Because obviously, uh, we haven't had an awful lot of luck. And we keep getting Storm Dragons, like, all the time. 
Like, every single breed is a storm dragon or a, um, emerald or something dumb. I mean, we know that there are a ton of other epics that we can breed instead of the briar, but it's just annoying. Like, come on. Why is it going to take so long? It could just be simple, easy peasy, but no. you gotta got to mess with my brain, DML. I mean, that's the whole point of them being such hard dragons to get because like they they require level 4 enchantment they're real special legendaries they do a lot of damage i get it but it doesn't mean it's not annoying in the lead up process to try and actually get the dragon oh well you know one day we will get it and it will be a magical day and our breeding den will feel forever free what we're going to breed after these legendaries, though, that is the question. Because, you know, what else do we actually have left? We don't have any regular legendaries to breed after these enchantment guys. We won't have any more of those to get. So, honestly, I don't know what we're going to do from that point onwards. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just have to try and breed more of the basic legendaries every day just to keep ourselves going. That is assuming that by then we don't have another update or more basic dragons to breed. I mean, I haven't heard anything about it, but, you know, just in case. And... Okay, I am back now. There was a minor inconvenience with that. I don't, I don't know. It's just some, some people trying to message me, you know, like they always do. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do about those legendaries at all. We'll just see what happens. And is there anything in particular you guys want me to do? I don't know anymore. It's like, I just sit here, do enchantment stuff, do some breeding. But I guess that, that is the essence of DML. That is DML in a shell nut, as they would say. I mean, there are a lot of things you can do every day, but there is a limit to how much you can sort of progress in the game. Especially since all of our dragons are nowhere near level 80, which means we can't finish off heroic mode yet. But if we could, I'd have the Bighorn Dragon in our collection. Speaking of which, I wonder if during the next update they're going to be bringing out some more map stuff. Ooh, that's interesting to think about. Who knows? Definitely don't know yet. Just have to wait on word from Gameloft or whatever the new update is going to be coming out. But again, we'll wait and see. And what do we get in this lovely green chest today? Probably absolutely nothing. Come on, open it up. I mean, we got a blue potion and we got a bit of legendary. You know what? That's better than I expected. But, you know, for now, I am going to leave you guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Good luck with upgrading all of your stuff and your breeding, and until next time, I will see you then.